Hello everyone. Today I am swatching four different colors. Dan Smith Mine Dark Blue, Da Vinci Manganese Violet, Dan Smith Cobalt Turquoise, and Dan Smith Zoocyte. Um, these are very interesting colors. I am new to them, although I have tried the Mayan Genuine. Uh, it had a unusual quality to it that I didn't really care for. Uh, I loved the color, but just the way it behaved, it was, um, I don't know, difficult to describe. But uh, here I'm uh, swatching, experimenting with uh, Mayan dark blue, and it is a luscious, deep, dark, gray blue almost i would call it a very close to a pain's gray um, and i'm really looking forward to painting with it it's oh goes down lovely um i th think i'll be replacing my pain's gray with this um it's a little more on the anthroquinoid side uh, or endenthrone um, although endenthrone is much much brighter anyways um, it this is a lovely color and uh, you know if you're into collecting Dan Smith colors this is a good one to collect <laughs> anyways I, I do like this and I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it um, the next color I am going to swatch here is, I believe, the turquoise, uh, Dan Smith Cobalt Turquoise. Um, very granulating, um, a bit on the green side. Uh, it's a beautiful color, very intense. Uh, I really enjoy how this color goes down. It's very transparent. Uh, a lovely mixer, um, as is the Mayan dark blue. The granulation on this is very heavy, uh, but it's fairly fine. Um, I think it will also be uh, I'll get a lot of use out of this color. Um, I use the uh, cobalt teal uh, that's been on my palette for years. Um, it's a oh a little too particular in its color. It's a little on the light side, so I was looking for something deep to replace it, and uh, this absolutely does a trick. Um, it's uh, just very rich, dark turquoise, great for water, skies, mixes with any blue really. Next color up is Da Vinci Manganese Violet. It's a pretty deep tone, uh, much denser in pigment uh, intensity, or not intensity, but just the richness of the pigment. It's um, a pretty, pretty deep violet, uh, very m much on the red side. Just behaves nicely in wet and wet. Generally, cobalt violets are, oh, much more, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's more transparent. There's more filler. I'm, I don't mean filler, but uh, gum arabic, I think. Uh, 
in it, it's probably more difficult to mix into the gum arabic. Um, there's been something unsatisfying about it. I, I do love the way it granulates. I just wish it was more intense like this violet. So this will be replacing my cobalt violet, which I do believe has a little more blue undertone to it. And this is the Daniel Smith Zoocyte. Now, the first time I saw this color being swatched, uh, I, I was just thought it was absolutely gorgeous, stunning color. But it's it's really actually not. It I think it looks really great on camera. Um, not that it's a color that I dislike or anything. I think it will be a gorgeous mixer. It is a gorgeous mixer. It just is wonderful with other granulating pigments. Uh, it mixes beautifully with the Mayan dark blue. It's much more granular, as you can see. That manganese violet is also very granular, but not the particles are finer. I think Da Vinci pigments are ground a little finer. I've noticed that. Um, Dan Smith is really renowned for their granulating pigments, and I love them. But they're not pigments you want to use all the time, or um, I'm just enjoying that gorgeous mix of zoocyte and uh, manganese violet. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. But granulating pigments, um, you know, I think I think it's good to work with a few, maybe one at a time. Uh, or two, um, and in specific areas of a painting when you're looking for, you know, that effect. I can see using this color in plein air painting quite a bit. I'm just playing with a mix of the Mayan gen or Mayan dark blue and the uh, cobalt turquoise. And beyond the swatches, I'm just gonna just play around a little bit here with some wet and wet and mixing them all. I just enjoy putting color down on paper. <laughs> and wow, they're just beautiful colors. Look at how they flow. And here you can see the granulation close up. And there's the zoocyte and Mayan blue together. And that zoocyte is very granular. Thanks for watching. Happy painting!